Radio. We are live. On Magic Touch Radio, we bring you greetings from the Most High. Tonight is your very host, Pastor Samuel Dalcon, on Voice of Hope. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to share the video on Facebook. Those of you listening to me on YouTube, those of you listening to me on iTunes, those of you listening to me wherever that you are on uh, TuneIn Radio and uh, on your Android phones, kindly connect with a friend and share with a friend. Because God has given me a word in my spirit for you tonight. Stay tight. Esther Smith on the background just begin to ponder about the faithfulness of God just begin to think about the goodness of the Lord just begin to ponder about how God has been good to you throughout the year up to this time remember this is the last Thursday in the month of June if God has not done anything for you God has protected you God has stood by you God has cared for you God has provided for you he has provided a shield and putting your enemies to shame
If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Psalm chapter number 144. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Psalm chapter number 144. How many of you believe that victory belongs to Jesus? Indeed, victory belongs to Jesus. Him we find safety. for your life kindly share the video on facebook live tonight god will visit his people i sense that strongly within my spirit that god will visit you tonight if you believe thou said amen god will visit his people if you believe that say amen Psalm 144 says that praise be to the Lord my rock praise be to the name of the Lord my rock somebody say the Lord is my rock somebody say the Lord is my rock Who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle? He says that who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. Praise be to the name of the Lord who is my rock. Who trains my hands for war. It means that if God does not prepare you for the battle that is ahead, you will go and you will fail. But if he definitely prepares your hands for war, then every war will be subdued under your feet. 
Amen. And you will come out victorious, but not a victim. Amen. So David said, that, Praise be to the God that I serve, who has become my rock. The stone that the builders rejected became the cornerstone. It presupposes that if God is your rock, it means that you are unmovable. It means that you are unshakable. It means that nothing can stand you. Somebody say victory belongs to God. Somebody say, Praise be to the name of the Lord. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my rock. So he said, Praise be to the Lord, my rock. Tonight, that should be your prayer of thanksgiving. You are praying and you are saying, God, I thank you because you have been my rock. That is the reason why when the enemy came at you, he couldn't succeed because you were unmovable and untouchable. Every rock is formidable. Every rock is established. Every rock is unshakable. And tonight you are that rock. And you are declaring to the name of the Lord and say, Father, I thank you because you have been my rock. You are declaring to the Lord and saying, Lord, you have been my rock. If you believe that, say amen. Wow. The verse two, stay. Say, he is my loving God and my fortress. My stronghold and my deliverer. My shield in whom I take refuge. Who subdues people under my feet. The law subdues people under my feet. Tonight, I don't know the situation that you find yourself. I don't know the news that you have heard. I don't know the place that you find yourself right now. But I came with the news. That if you believe the Lord has been your rock, then you got to praise Him. Amen. Then you got to praise Him. You got to praise Him. Hallelujah. He says that He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer. If it wasn't God who has become our stronghold, where will you and I be? We will be cut off by the devil within a twinkle of an eye. But the Lord has been our stronghold. This is the heritage that we have as his children. This is the hope that we have as his children. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you for loving me. Say thank you for being my fortress. Thank you for being my stronghold. Thank you for being my deliverer. Thank you for being my deliverer. That is what God has been to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody, let's go before the Lord right now. Let's begin to praise Him. 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 Father, we thank you right now. We thank you right now. We thank you right now. Somebody lift up your voice. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God right now. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless God. Begin to thank God right now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God right now. Yes. Jehovah is your name. Yes. Jehovah is your name. Begin to thank God. Let's thank God right now. Let's thank God right now. Let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to thank God right now. Let's begin to thank God right now. Father, tonight we are here. We thank you because you have been our 
stronghold, you have been our deliverer, you have been our fortress, you have been our our loving God, you have been our savior, you have been our shield, you have stood by us, you have cared for us, you have loved us, you have you have you have you have you have protected us, you have you have you have you have made us who we are. It is not anything about us, it is all about you, Jesus, tonight. Therefore, all that we are saying, we thank you, we bless you, we love you, we honor you tonight. We thank you because you have been our rock. 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 We have been our rock. You have been our rock. Therefore, we love you tonight. We praise you tonight. We give you all the praise. 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 We give you all the rock. We are unmovable. We are unshakable. Nothing can come against us. It is all about you tonight. It is all about your faithfulness tonight. It is all about your glory tonight. It is all about what you have done. That is what has made us who we are tonight. We thank you for your protection. We give thank you for your we love give you that we you give have you shown praise, to oh us. We thank, thank you for your Jesus. kindness. Thank you, we thank Jesus. you for thank all you, that you continue thank to you, do for Jesus. us. Thank we are forever Jesus. grateful, O oh God. We are forever Father, grateful, O oh God. Father, we, are forever grateful, oh God. we are forever so grateful, O oh God. We are forever grateful, O God. We give you praise. We thank you for favoring us. We thank you for ordering our steps. We thank you for all that you continue to do and you will do in our lives. We thank you. Thank you, oh God, you have our boundaries. Father, you have caused up more evil for to be fallen us. Our we give you all the battle. praise, oh God. We give you all the honor, saying, oh God. We, are on the we magnify you, Jesus. Because of you. Abba, Father, we, we are exalt not, you. Jehovah we are not Jireh, dead we thank because you for the supplication the enemy of is all our needs. We, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Our Father, we give you all the glory, O oh God. We, have we every exalt reason thee. To give you we praise. exalt thee, O oh God. We exalt thee, my Lord, you. my God. We, have we give every you all the honor, Alpha, Alpha Omega. Omega. Father, Father, have you ever started something that has not accomplished it? We give you for all that you continue to do for us. We give you all the honor for everybody in the name of Jesus. From the beginning to the end, O God. For the loved ones, wherever that they are, I give you all the praise for their lives. May your name forever be Praise. May your name you forever praise. be praised. May your name forever today. be praised. Yesterday May your name you forever be praised. We thank forever you tonight. You we bless you tonight. We thank you tonight. We bless you tonight. We thank you tonight. We bless you tonight. We give you praise. We give you praise. Who is like unto you? Among the gods, there is none. Among the gods, there is none. We thank you. Praise. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be Praise. Name on high. Who there is worthy to be praised? We bless Neither and praise your name. We bless and praise your name. We bless and praise your name. Take all the praise tonight. Take all the praise tonight. Take all the praise tonight. Let everything that has bread begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let everything that has bread begin to bless the name of the Lord. Everything that has bread. Everything that has bread. We begin to bless the name of the Lord. Everything that has bread begin to bless the name of the Lord. Everything that has bread begin to bless the name of the Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you tonight for all that you have done. Take all the praise tonight. We give you praise. Father, we thank you for our lives. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for our lives in the name of Jesus. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Father, we adore you, God. We give you all the glory, Jesus. We want to thank God for our families. We want to thank God for our families. Understand that if the enemy, the devil, does not get you, he'll get your family member. So it is of importance to thank God for your family. You want to thank God for your wife. 
you want to thank God for your husband? You want to thank God for your children? You want to thank God for your extended family? Child of God, it is of a high necessity to give a prayer of thanksgiving for our loved ones. Lift up your voice right now. Begin to say, Father, I declare thanksgiving Father, for my family. You, Jesus, I declare again. thanksgiving for my family Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Of lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Father, we thank you for our good health, oh God. I thank you for strength. I thank you for able men, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise, God. We give you all the honor, Hallelujah to your name. We're grateful Hallelujah to your Lord. name. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. We're breathing in Hallelujah air, oh God. In and we have blood Jesus, circulating you, within our bodies, oh God. Hallelujah. We just want to Hallelujah. say we're so Hallelujah. thankful, oh God. Hallelujah. We just want to express Hallelujah. our profound thank gratitude unto you, Lord. Jesus. Thank we thank you, Lord, for our thank families, oh God. We thank you for our siblings, our parents, oh God. Father, our spouses. Father, we give you all the praise, oh God. We give you all the honor, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for thank our family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you're worthy. Child of God. Bible said that it is not that his ears are too heavy that he cannot hear us. It is not that his hands are too short that he cannot reach us. But because of our sins and our iniquities, it has separated us from the love of God. Watch this. I want to hear voices of angels above singing as one, singing hallelujah. Holy, holy God Almighty. It is not because of his hands, that is too short that he cannot reach us. But as a result of our sins and our iniquities, it has separated us from God. It is not that we are praying and God is not answering. It is not that we are not doing what we are supposed to do, that God is not hearing us. But it is as a result of the sin that entangles us. It is as a result of the things that does not cause us to progress in our journey and our walk with God. Sin can be a hindrance unto our prayer. Sin can be a blockade unto our prayer. And it is a privilege for every child of God to go before God and say, Father, I thank you and I want you to forgive me of my sins. It is not a crime to go before the Lord and ask for forgiveness of sins. Because when he was teaching the Lord's prayer, he said, the Lord, forgive us as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. So first and foremost, we have to have a right standing with God before we can proceed further to pray and request anything and declare his presence. If there is sin in us, if there is a sin that entangles us, there is nothing that we can do that we will see the manifold power of God upon our lives. Therefore, you and I tonight, we are about to go before the Lord. We want to proclaim and say, Father, have mercy on us. Temper justice with mercy. Somebody say, Lord, temper justice with mercy. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. The words that proceeded out of our mouths. The things that we use our hands to touch. The things that we use our eyes to watch. The, the things that came out of us. The wickedness that we have bought in our heart and in our minds. We are smiling with our brother, our sister, but within us, we wish that person evil. That is a sin. And you just want to pray and go before God and say, Father, take anything out of my heart that will be a hindrance unto my prayer. Anything that I've committed, the sin of omission and commission, the sin that you know and you do not know, 
you have to plead the blood of Jesus for forgiveness. His word declares that if you come and confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive, to cleanse, and call you his faithful son, daughter. What's this? So it means that when we come before God, we when we pray for forgiveness of sin, he hears us and cleans us. The book of Isaiah said, Come, let us settle the matter. Though our sins may be as scarlet, but he will wash it and make it as white as snow. Child of God, if there is sin in us, we can fast and pray, nothing will happen. But when we see ourselves as mortal beings, for God to have mercy on us and touch us and cleanse us, it is just a click and God would descend and intervene in the situation that you find yourself and you also have to make up your mind to get up from where you are to get up from anything that will cause you to fall God Bible said that we live in evil days we live in a time and day that evil is rampant so the probability that we can equally find ourselves in sin is high but God is a merciful God he died so that your sin will die and grow so that you have life and have it in abundance and your when your mortal bodies will be quickened up I pray tonight upon your life that if there is any sin that your forefathers committed that as a result that is what is leading all kinds of calamity challenges difficulties upon your life may God have mercy I pray that God will have mercy you are praying and you are saying God have mercy upon me have mercy upon me anything that I have used my body to do that did not bring glory to your name anybody that I talk evil I stamp at, her, at his or her back that I never even knew that I was doing that have mercy upon me he is a merciful God he is a gracious God he will forgive you say Lord have mercy say Lord have mercy thank you Jesus say Lord have mercy first John chapter number 3 the verse 8 Psalm chapter number 51 the verse 1 Let's read Psalm 55, the verse 1. Psalm 51, the verse 1. Faith, go ahead. Psalm 51, the verse 1. Psalm 51, the verse 1. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm chapter number 51, the verse 1. Chapter 51. Yes. The verse one. Yes, go ahead. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your love and kindness, mm. according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Hallelujah. Blot out my transgressions. Mm, the verse two. Two. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity uh -huh. and cleanse me from my sin. That is that is your prayer tonight. Amen. Somebody lift up your Bible. Declare the words of Psalm chapter number 51, the verse 1 and 2. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Declare it. Say, God, have mercy. According to your unfailing love. According to your tender mercy. According to your tender kindness. Blot out every transgression. 
have compassion on me, O God. Wash me through and through with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Cleanse me, O God. The known and the unknown things. I pray tonight that Lord, you have mercy. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me, O God. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me, O God. Have mercy upon me, O God. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me, O God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. Mokuraba Sibriadaba. Rekaros Kibriabali at Telebro. Sibriadabro Sabadaba. Lekiraba Zutiribria Rabazu. Father, in any way that we've gone way more, to what Father, we says, pray, that for, we your that that we pray to for your mercy tonight. We pray for your mercy tonight. We pray for your mercy, O God. We pray for your mercy, O God. Anything that will be a hindrance unto our prayer, the things that we have used our eyes to watch, places that we have been that did not bring glory to your name, we pray tonight that you have mercy. We pray that Lord, you will have mercy. We ask that you forgive us of our sins. You will cleanse us, O God, through and through. You will wash us with your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, cleanse us, O God. Wash us, O God. Cleanse us, O God. Wash us, O God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, O God. Father, and blood and understand that prayer brings the will of God and releases the will of God upon our lives so to walk in the will of God and the fulfillment of God promise concerning your life prayer becomes very key prayer and sacrifices let me take it again prayer is key and it releases the will of God concerning our lives I said that prayer is key and it releases the will of God concerning our life. So Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. It gives us the clue that if God should intervene, it will be as a result of the prayer and the waiting and the sacrifices that you have put into it. Nothing, nothing, nothing don't just come easy. Nothing don't just come easy. Prayer is very key and it releases the will of God. And every promise concerning your life, any prophetic word concerning your life, if it is going to come to fruition, if it is going to come to pass, then your prayer will be very key. Your prayer will be very key. Your prayer will be very key. Will be very key. So every child of God got to be a prayerful person. And when you become a prayerful person, you are very dangerous. Every dangerous person in the realms of the spirit is a prayerful person. We have come this far not because of anything that we have. It is as a result of the amount of prayer that have gone ahead of time. The amount of prayer that have gone ahead of time. So prayer releases the will of God. What is the will and the purpose of God concerning your life? You see that you are doing it with your own strength. And nothing is coming out of it. But plug yourself or connect yourself to the supernatural. Last week Sunday we were talking about. We are talking about the, the supernatural glory of God in church. See, when you connect to yourself, connecting yourself, connecting yourself, we eat anywhere, we drink everything. I mean, we, I mean, we, our life, there is no, we don't channel ourselves to anything. I said that prayer releases the will of God. The ministry of Jesus Christ was extraordinary as a result of his prayer. 
when his strength is gone when it's when he's tired he tap into the supernatural by praying to release the will of god concerning his life so everywhere that he went signs and wonders followed him let there be signs and wonders after your prayer i said tonight let there be signs and wonders after your prayer that any prayer that you have released from the beginning of the year up to this time i speak as a servant of god that tonight um, may there be signs and wonders following you may you be a testimony to the world i say may you be a testimony to the world shout praise god my god prayer releases what the will of god releases the will of god turn your bible is with me to the book of isaiah chapter number 40 54 the verse 7 54 the verse 17 isaiah chapter number 54 the verse 17 very popular scripture but tonight we want to stand on it and dec de decree something we want to stand on it and decree something my goodness thank you holy ghost isaiah chapter number 54 the verse 17 Isaiah chapter number 54, the verse 17. Verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And your righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Take it again. 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Watch this. Watch this. The verse 40 says that in righteousness you will be established. Amen. In righteousness you will be what? Established. The prophet Isaiah was talking about the future glory of Zion. So when he got to the verse 14, speaking into the nation and speaking over the lives of the people, he said that in righteousness you shall be established. This year, everything that your hands lay hold of may be established. Somebody did not hear me. I said that anything that your hands lay holds on may it be established. He says that tranny will be far removed from you. It will not come near you. If anyone attacks you, it will not be of my doing. Whoever attacks you will surrender to you. Ay, 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 ay. He said that whoever, whoever, whoever attacks you shall surrender. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, that anybody that attacks you may go attack that person. Amen. May they surrender under in your feet. I said that may they surrender under your feet. Anybody that will attack you at yes, your workplace. Lord. Anybody that will Jesus. attack your health. Anybody that will attack your finances. Anybody that will attack your marriage. Anybody that will attack your business. Anybody that will attack your children. Anybody that will attack anything that concerns you. Tonight may they surrender in the name of Jesus. I said tonight may they surrender in the name of Jesus. May their hands be loose. Say their hands be loose. Their hands be loose. They will not fulfill their enterprise. I said that their enterprise will not be fulfilled. And we said that whoever attacks you from the east, attacks you from the west, attacks you from the south, attacks you from the north, attacks you on every side, they shall surrender, says the Lord Almighty. And I see your enemies surrendering unto you. I see your enemies surrendering unto you. 
those that have pursued your future those that have pursued your destiny those that have pursued your marriage uh, those that have pursued anything that is in your hands uh, anything that belongs to you that have been taken away from you tonight by prayer let the redeem of the lord say i said tonight by prayer let the redeem of the lord say i said tonight let the redeem of the lord say i say tonight let the redeem of the lord say bible said you will be planted in butter and anything that you do will be established and if there is any evil that will come after you it is not my doing but even if they should try they will surround under your feet may your doors be be marked with the blood of jesus may your vehicle be marked with the blood of jesus may your children be marked with the blood of jesus everything that concerns you as you set out as you come in let the fire of god be a shield around you i say let the fire of god be a shield around you bible said that they will surrender i see i see giant falling up i see men surrounded unto you hey let the anointing of god that consists the attackers to surrender let them surrender tonight i see them surrendering 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 tonight in the name of jesus now watch this the prayer that we are praying tonight is that god this is biblical it is it is scripture he says that when they attack they will surrender Amen. you are praying that god anybody that attacks me any spiritual forces that is monitoring my movement to destroy me let them surrender let them surrender let them surrender let them surrender let up your voice somebody let up prayer father in the name of jesus by prayer we declare name of jesus oh God. by prayer we declare Father, your word by prayer we declare into the atmospheres of signs and wonders that anything that will attack us that will attack our wives that will attack our destiny and our future that will attack our health that will attack our finances father tonight let it surrender tonight let it surrender tonight let it surrender tonight let it surrender in the name of jesus tonight let it Saranda Moko Sata Yabade Ramakorobo Sitiri Yabaro Samaraba Suki Ramato Sabata Yabran de Debe Siki Rabata Seki Ramalu Samata Yabala Baraba Leka Rama Sutarabadia Tedebe Rama Sutaraba Leka Dabro Zibria Let the redeem of the Lord say 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 Say, let the redeem of the Lord say, let the redeem of the Lord say, in the attack against our health, in the attack against our marriages, in the attack against our children, to not let it surrender. Whosoever does a attack, your word declares in the book of Samba that you will attack those who attack us, you will fight with those that fight us by prayer, oh God, we release the oracles of heaven and we engage the battles in the realms of the spirit that let every attack that has been initiated let any eye that is monitoring our movement let their hands be loose let them surrender 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 in the name of jesus we believe and we know uh, that tonight um, you will do something new uh, we believe and we know uh, that tonight you will do something uh, we believe and we know the lord uh, you will do something in the name of jesus uh, arise oh god uh, let our enemies be scattered uh, arise oh god uh, let our enemies be scattered uh, arise oh god uh, let our enemies be scattered uh, arise oh god uh, let our enemies be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus, Makabro Sikitayaba, Lekabro Sitayaba.
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said that whosoever that attacks will surrender to you. He said, I see it is I who created the blacksmith who fans the coals into flame and forges a weapon fit for it work. And it is I who created the destroyer to wreak havoc. He said that no weapon that form against you it will never prevail. To me, dear Biara, a dear Biara, a best sorry, a dear Bible said, he said, it shall never prevail. It means that their enterprise will not stand. No weapon. Amen. Understand tonight that we are dealing with principalities understand tonight that we are dealing with powers of higher places understand tonight we are dealing with rulers of darkness understand tonight we are dealing with spiritual wickedness and the serious aspect of this it is you cannot see with your physical eyes you see anything that you can see with your physical eyes you can approach but god has not mandated you to see the walls but as you pray your spiritual eyes opens and through dreams through meditations in the word of god god gives you inspiration god throws light in his word and opens your eyes to see the walls that are being engaged but tonight every weapon that has been been projected against you that weapon will fly over your roof i said that that weapon will fly over your roof and it will land in the land of the wicked any weapon intended to wreak havoc any weapon intended to destroy any weapon intended to separate any weapon intended to cause a divorce any weapon intended for you to die tonight let that weapon fly over your roof i say let that weapon fly over your roof let that weapon land in the land of the wicked ah somebody is not here tonight i said somebody is not here tonight uh, that any weapon intended to wreak havoc by prayer by prayer it is about to land in the camp of the enemy thank you jesus thank you holy ghost you are lifting up a prayer and you are saying god any weapon against me let it never stand let it never function let it never prevail in the name of jesus in this month of june as we cross over to the month of july anybody that have been assigned to die by prayer we cancel it anybody that has been assigned to have any kind of serious accident by prayer let it be cancelled anybody that have been assigned for any kind of confusion to hit him or her by prayer let it be cancelled you are saying any weapon it shall not it shall not hit a target it shall not hit a target before it gets there you are out of the scene in the name of jesus i say in the name of jesus any weapon intended to wreak havoc my goodness we release the fire of god we release the fire of god the anointing of god if god be for us who can be against us he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world if god is with us he said that the one who is with us is more than them in your present circumstance you might be saying that god is not alive 
in your present situation you might be saying that god is not there but i came to encourage you that the one that is with you is more than your enemies i said the one that is with you is more than your enemies therefore no weapon formed to function against you it shall never prevail it shall never stand up it shall not it shall it shall, it shall, it shall not complete its enterprise says the lord of hosts says the lord of hosts he said that you will refute every tongue that accuses you there are some people they have been assigned to accuse all that they are interested in is to accuse accusation from left to right bottom they are distracted you are lifting up prayer this one if you can speak in the holy ghost i want you to pray in the holy ghost and you are saying god any weapon against my children that they will not finish their school any weapon against my children that they will not get married any weapon against my children that they will not prosper any weapon against my children that they will not succeed any weapon um, that is causing my marriage um, to fall apart uh, by prayer we dismantle by prayer we disengage um, by prayer let it be cancelled uh, by prayer let that weapon be diverted uh, in the name of Jesus um, come on lift up prayer Say no weapon. No weapon. Which is formed. Which is formed. To fight against me. To fight against it me. It shall never prevail. It shall never prevail. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The reason why you shouldn't give up is that God is working on your case and it is your season to step into greater heights. The reason why you shouldn't throw in the towel, the reason why you shouldn't quit. The reason why you shouldn't stop is that God is working on you and you 
are next in line for his miracle watch this watch this it doesn't matter the years that you have stayed at a place for a long time it doesn't matter that your colleagues are going ahead of the game bible let me to understand that there was a man that has been at the pool of Bethesda. that is the meaning of Bethesda is the house of mercy for a number of years 38 years the man bible did not record that he has spent his entire year at the pool of Bethesda. but at the time the apostle john was recording these scriptures and chapter in the bible that is john chapter number five we understand that this man has been at the pool of Bethesda for a period of 38 years maybe you have been waiting for something for eight seconds you have been waiting on something for eight minutes you have been waiting on something for eight hours you have been waiting on something for eight days you have been waiting on something for eight weeks months and years and nothing is happening i came to proclaim and i came to speak over your life that the table is about to turn i said that the table is about to turn the table is about to turn and it is turning in your favor so if you were last yesterday be prepared to leave because it is your time to step into your new season somebody say it is my time it is my time to step into my new season to step into my new season. somebody tonight yes. is stepping into his or her yes, new season yes lord that is the word of the lord in the name of the that is the word of the lord Amen. so watch this the god that we serve is a god who changes times and seasons i said that seasons are temporal time permanent the reason being that summer is a season it will come and go but it is a subset of time so when you miss your season it means that you have missed something that is going to take you to a different height so last we prayed and we say god we are candidate of knowing your seasons and time but if there should be any season that we should miss we will not miss our season and i pray that same prayer for you that somebody under the sound of my voice i proclaim that you will not miss your season your set season will not bypass you because god is about to hit you with something that you have never dreamt of Amen. something that you have never dreamt of Amen. seasons changing the natural and the spiritual anything that changes in the in the season that you find yourself in the natural understand that it changes in the spiritual stepping into your new season is adopting a positive mindset of overcoming conquering subduing leading a victorious life Amen. for you to overcome everything it begins with your thinking and your thoughts Amen. the way you process things in your mind if you see yourself you can do it god will help you to do it Amen. in life things don't just come easy there are some you have to battle it through there are some you gotta fight through it there are some that you need you need to wait up you got to do some things bible sir this man has been at the pool of belsda for a period of 38 years Amen. can you think about this for a second can you ponder about this for a minute for 38 years if it was you 
what are you going to do maybe there is a situation that has been chronic right from the time that you were born but i pray tonight that somebody is overcoming any setback yes, Lord. i pray that somebody is overcoming Jesus. anything that has kept you at a place mm. for a long time yes. somebody say i hear you i hear you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus so the man has been there for how many years 38, 38 years 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 and tonight i am believing god for you and i'm trusting god to do something new in amen. your life i said that i am believing god for you amen and i am trusting god yes, for you amen. turn your bibles with me to the book of john chapter number five i am ministry on stepping into your new season part two stepping into your new season part two stepping into your new season part two the book of john chapter number five john chapter number five anybody that is listening just turn your bible to the book of john chapter number five babes let's hear the word of god john chapter number five john chapter number five in the name of jesus the verse one after this there was a feast of the jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem too. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches, three. In these lay a great multitude of sick people. Hold on there. It says that at this pool lay great multitude of what? Sick people. You see, the, the place that you find yourself will determine whether you will go or you will stay there, you remain there. When you find yourself in the midst of people that are all say, always say it is, it can never be possible, you are going to remain where you are. Watch this. It says that there were great multitude of sick people. You got to join the company of people that are alive and well. People that have positivity. People that are growing. People that are moving ahead of the game. The place that you find yourself will determine your growth. We don't look at men. Because if you are to look at men, you are going to lose at the long run. Are you here with me tonight? Yeah. So Bible said, this man has found himself in the company of sick people. And I ask you a question. Where do you find yourself currently? Where do you find yourself? Where do you find? In a multitude of people disabled. People that are not well. People that are immobile, incapacitated. People that cannot do anything for themselves. You will come and you tell you as for this place you can't do this as for this place that is what you can do and it has eaten into your mind it has caused fear in you therefore you don't want to approach anything you don't want to do anything this very hour pray that god will open your eyes to see where you are so that you will get up rise up and move out of where you are that is when you begin to step into your new season Go ahead. In these lay a great multitude of sick people. Yes, Lord. Blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. Hold on there. It says that there is the blind, the lame, the paralyzed, all kinds of people moving and waiting for the staring or the troubling of the pool or the water so if every season the angel comes one it means that the one that has the ability a man the man that will pay his way through will receive a miracle 
and some of us that is how our situation has become we are always waiting for something to happen before we do something child of god if you don't get up nothing will happen if you don't rise up nothing will happen if you don't put yourself together nothing will happen you got to rise up out of your fear rise up out of the intimidation rise up out of the the, the discourage rise up of any kind of company that will suppress that will bring you down that will not encourage you to take up the challenge and move ahead in life so he said that whilst they are there they find themselves in a people in the midst of people that are blind when a blind man is leading a blind man you can imagine where are they going when a lame is leading a lame you can imagine where are they going when the paralyzed is leading the paralyzed um, you understand where they are going but i bring you the message of hope tonight um, that it doesn't matter where you have found yourself over the years maybe the church that you belong um, you are not seeing the move and the power of god um, and you are saying because of this person i don't want to change the things um, i don't want to change the move um, you see god um, is a god who is working when men become serious you don't join you don't you don't just join anything for for friendship um, because this person is here so it is okay your miracle will delay your breakthrough will delay your marriage will delay everything about you will delay and you yourself you know that things are not going on the way you expect it to be you don't pray you don't do anything no spiritual work goes on now we go to church people go to church because after church service um, they can sell their clothes they, they can sell their food they can sell things at the back of their boots um, that is the reason why they go to church so they will even come to church at the last hour that the pastor is about to close we think that we are you we you are doing god you are doing yourself Think that you are doing i mean bible said that there lies that place people that were blind people that were blind lame it means that they cannot do it they cannot walk waiting for the for the water when you read the niv said that at certain season the angel of the lord will come and trouble the water it didn't say at certain time it said at certain season at certain season so watch this it is very important to know the season in which you are i said that last week every season brings new champions every season bring new changes every season brings its own challenges get ready for the move because you are stepping into a season that god has prepared before you that the sorrows will be over that the pain will be over that the complaining will be over that the sickness will be over everything about you will be over i prophesy tonight upon your life uh, that somebody is coming out of that shame uh, somebody is coming out of that disappointment Amen. somebody is coming out of that miscarriage uh, somebody is coming out of anything that has entangled you uh, Amen. that is not causing you to move uh, it is if it is about you don't say that you are too old and you cannot do it uh, god can do something with you god god can do something with you don't say because i am i am at this point of age so i should rise into anything god is on the move and i speak tonight that you are stepping into your new season your season of miracles that which you have prayed for that which you have believed god for that which you have yearned from god over the years god will do something for you god will do something for you somebody say i am stepping into my new season i am stepping into my new season let's hear the word of god go ahead four for an angel went down at a certain season he says that an angel of the lord went down at what certain season the key words there is what certain season certain certain season 
I've always been saying, God sees everything, but God does not dwell everywhere. There is a specific place that what you prepare for, He will come and stay there. This is good. God sees everything, God is everywhere, but God does not dwell everywhere. You need the presence of God to That's dwell. Good. Watch this. I said that you need the presence of God to, to dwell. dwell. So Bible said that at certain time, the angel of God will come and trouble the water. At certain season, the angel of God, at certain season, I pray that your spiritual eyes will be open. Yes, I pray that your spiritual senses will be open. Your Jesus. ears will be open. So that you will know the time and you know the season. You know, you specifically, you know the season that God himself is descending. You know the, the, the season that God is on the move. Anytime God is on the move, something happens. I said that anytime God is on the move, something happens. I said that anytime God is on the move, something happens. Go ahead and read. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had so bible said that after the water has been stirred whoever steps in there will be made well the lesson that you should learn from here is that in life maybe somebody have gone ahead of you a place that belonged to you has been given to someone the things that your parents told for that needs to come to you somebody have taken it away from your hands the things that belongs to your rightful place you have been denied of your rightful place when it is your season then something happens when you see that you have what you have prayed believe god trusted god live a holy sanctified life uh, and your miracle is near and then all of a sudden something boom and everything was cut out. so he said that when the angel stares troubles the water this time round, when it is your turn nobody will go ahead of you the prayer tonight that i want you to pray is that anything that i've gone ahead of me inappropriately tonight i'm taking my rightful place in the name of jesus i am taking, taking my, my rightful, rightful place. place taking your rightful place any place that belongs to you anything that is yours that has been taken away from you by any demonic means it shall never be said of you i said that it shall never be said of you amen you are taking your rightful place in the name of jesus somebody say i am taking my rightful place i am taking my rightful place go ahead and read five now a certain man was there who had had an infirmity 38 years hold on there bible said at certain season and it says that a certain man certain season and certain man certain season and what certain man had had infirmity for 38 years at anything that has become chronic in your life let it be cancelled in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. I said that anything that has become chronic in your life, uh, let it be cancelled in, in the name of Jesus. of Jesus. I said tonight, anything that has become chronic, uh, let it be cancelled in the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. A dear bearer, upon your life, uh, we cancel it in the name of in Jesus. The name of Jesus said he has been there for 30 uh, earlier said that the pool the meaning of pool of bell said that is what it is is a house of mercy a place that flows with living water and the colonnades is it's a place that when these disabled people the multitude the lame the blind the pra- that is the place that they went to take shield they went to take shelter 
I'm going to take shelter. Child of God, the miracle is right close to you. It is right close to you. Take hold of it. This is your season. I said, this is your season. I said, this is your season. The next half of the year, the third quarter of the year, God is about to blow your yes, mind. Lord. I said that God In is about to blow Jesus. your mind. I said that God is about to do what blow portion. your mind. In the name of Jesus. So this man has been there for 38 years. Talking about the magnitude, I mean, you have passed the state of enduring life. In your 20s, your early 30s, ah. Yeah. But there is hope. I said that there is hope. I said that there is hope. There is hope. There is there is there is hope. There is hope for you. There is hope for me. There is hope for us. Anything that has delayed. Anything that has what delayed. A dear beer at Your delayance does not mean you have been denied. Anything that I've delayed does not guarantee that you have been denied. The fact that it has kept long, the fact that you have waited for it for a long time, that it is not happening, does not mean God is not there. God is on the move. I say God is on the move. God is on the move. Stay tight. Tighten your seat belt because I see the move of God. I see the flow of God. I see the anointing of God. Let's finish it up. Let's finish it up. Thank you, Jesus. Six. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? Seven. The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me in the pool. Hold on there. The question demands a yes or a no answer. At times, some of us, we do not even know how to even pray. How to even answer some questions. The question is this. Because Jesus is in town. Anytime Jesus is in town, he doesn't go about doing any publicity. There is no media outlet portraying his presence because the miracles that he has been performing already announces itself. So in as much as that they heard that Jesus is in town and you are lucky at this time, not an angel, but the Lord himself has come to you and is asking, do you want to be made well? That is when the man said, you know, I have been in America for a long time. I've, I've tried the first one. No green is not coming. The second one, the green. You know, I am tired. I've given up. At times, we ourselves, we are not even ready to help ourselves. Do you want to be made well? The answer is yes or no. Bam. God does not need any explanation because he's the God of yesterday, today and forever. He knows everything. Before you even say something, he has already diagnosed it. Before you say, God, I need a husband, God knows that you need a husband. Before you say you need a green card, God, God knows you need a green card. But God is saying, do you need it? All that God is expecting you to say is yes. Tonight, may everything that you do, may you know the right answer to give. Some of us, there are so many people that have come our way that it was God sent. But we didn't know and we did not apply wisdom. And we lost them. That was your season that you missed right there. I said that that was your season that you missed right there. Say that, Charlie, do you want to be made well? The question is, do you want to be made well? Do you want to be promoted? 
do you want to succeed on this foreign land do you want everything to work together in your favor the answer is yes the answer is no choose one god does not need our explanations at times we over explain ourselves we we do what we overdo what we over explain our what ourselves we over explain ourselves listening to what the man said listening to what the man said the sick man answered him sir i have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up but while i am coming another steps down before me eight jesus said to him rise take up your bed and walk nine and immediately the man was made well took up his bed and walked and that day was the sabbath 10 the jews therefore said to him who was cured it is the sabbath it is not lawful for you to carry your bed pause there pause there It says that when the water is being stirred, when the water is being troubled, I don't get anyone to help me and people go ahead of me. It might be your story for these past years. It might be your story for these past days. It might be your story for these past weeks. It might be your story from the beginning of the year. But I came to announce to you that God is a merciful God. God will meet you at the point of your need. I say God will meet you at the point of your need. I say God will meet you at the point of your need. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Bible said. Come on, you say. Jesus told him. Get up. Rise up. Get your mat and walk. Whether it was Sabbath or not. Get up. Rise up. Put your pieces together. Begin to sing hallelujah. Begin to shout to his glory. That the king of kings. The lord of lords. When he was in town. I was being made whole. At that particular season. At that particular moment. The man was being made whole. Amen. For 38 years of suffering. 38 years of infirmity. God saw him through. Amen. It is my prayer. Yes, Lord. It is my heartfelt cry. In the name of Jesus. That anybody that is listening to me. You will know God. Amen. And see God. And respond to God. In the name of Jesus. When he calls. He is near more than you ever think. I said that the, the Lord that we serve is near more than whatever that we think. May God bless you. May everything that you do prosper. In the name of Jesus. You are coming out of your place of stagnation. You are coming out of any situation that has been chronic. You just want to lift up a prayer. Anything that God lays upon you, begin to lift up prayer. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. We release your season of miracles. We release your season of signs and wonders. We release your season of favor. We release your season of power. We release your season of glory. 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 We release your season of
the lives of the people. Any situation that has been chronicled tonight it is over. I said 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 tonight it is over. Father, any situation that has delayed that has been for years, any place of stagnation, any place of disenablement, any place of Everything concerning our life, we are forcing to come to pass in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Nobody will go ahead of us. Anything that has gone ahead of us, Father, tonight we take our rightful place. 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 In the name of Jesus, we take our rightful place. We take our rightful place. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us in the name of Jesus. We believe and we know with you all things are possible. God is filling you up until you overflow. This man receive his miracle. God has not finished with you yet. Say to yourself, God is not done with me yet. God is not done with me yet. God is not done with you. You, you, are, you are stepping into your Father, in this season, oh God, Father, whatever you are doing in my life, oh God, some of you are weak. We can't literally Jesus, force you into it. Do without me in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, cause me not to miss my season in the name of Jesus. I want to run over. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, anything that would detain me, oh God, may God intervene on your case. May God intervene in your family. Anybody that is sick, we speak the healing of God right now. Let the healing of God touch you. Let the healing of God touch you. Let the healing of God. Anything that is disorder in your body, may you come to a normal function under the, under the office of the Holy Ghost right now. Let it come in alignment with the word of God. He died so that you and me will be made whole. I pray for the healing of God to touch you. He sent for his word to heal our needs. May your water be blessed. May your food be blessed. The month of Tula. I prophesy over your life. That you are going to encounter. In the name of Jesus. Your destiny helper. Yes, Lord. I said the month of July. I pray that you will encounter your 
destiny helper. I receive it. You are stepping into your season yes, of Lord. destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Your season of what? Of destiny, destiny helpers. helpers. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Wherever that you are, that you're listening to us, you can call us, you can test us, you can WhatsApp us, whichever way, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Tomorrow we're having our miracle service. And we're praying to God. We're praying to God. Praying to God. Come with your burden. Come with your problem. Say, come to me, who he, he who is heavenly burden, and I will give you rest. Come, come, come with that burden, and God will give you rest. It is a center of deliverance for families, for people. People are receiving their breakthroughs. God is opening doors. God is answering prayers. A lot of testimonies. God is at work. From 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., we are praying and seeking the face of God. Sunday, too, from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30, we start our service. We start our service. 9.30 a.m. to 12.30, we start our family service. If you are here in the DFW area that you don't have any definite place of worship, I humbly invite you, come join us, Christ Center of Hope Assemblies of God. Come join us. Let's fellowship together. It's a multicultural church. We have people from Cameroon, from Nigeria, from Sierra Leone, from Trinidad and Tobacco, from Liberia. I mean, all over the place. From Ghana. Come join us. You have a place in that church. And your life will never be the same. The address is going to be 9560 Skillman Street, suite number 117, Dallas, Texas, 75243. And our number to call is 972 750 1636. You can visit us on our website www.cchchurch.org www.cch.org You can find us on Facebook Christ Center of Hope You can find us on Twitter Christ Center of Hope You can subscribe to our YouTube channel Christ Center of Hope You can get us on Instagram, Twitter We are all over the place Come join us Let's seek the face of God Let's celebrate God It's an atmosphere of word It's an atmosphere of prayer It's an atmosphere of worship It's an atmosphere of A place that we care for families Come let's worship God together Tomorrow miracle service 7 to 9pm And on Sunday in, From 9.30am To 12.30am this community is about to be hit with apostolic grounds breaking from July 26 to July 29th. We have Eagle Conference with Dr. Lee Foboy from Chicago and Prophet Seth Bar from Maryland. We will be hosting two great apostles at Christ Center of Hope. If you live in this community, just prepare yourself to attend this four days program. We will start it from Thursday and will end on Sunday night. It's going to be powerful. Eagles Conference, July 26 to July 29. Prepare yourself and your life will never be the same. Tonight I came with Lady Fitna. Wow. God bless you. Blinks, blinks. God bless you so much for the support, the love, and the care. God bless you. All my Facebook viewers, God bless you. God bless you.
God bless you. Those of you listening to us, wherever that you are, God bless you. God bless you. Let me pray with you. Father, I pray right now and I cover your children under your, under your pavilion. Let everything that they do be established in you. I pray that Lord, your hand will sustain them. That as they enter into their new season, it will be a season that your miracles and signs will follow them. And it will be permanent with their life. And they will know that they serve a living God. And they serve a faithful God. Heal the sick. Touch the oppressed. Lift the hopeless up. Let, let, let people receive life in the name of Jesus. Let this community know that indeed we serve a living God. Father, we love you. We praise your name in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We are out of here. God bless you, Uncle Igwe Ife, Mrs. Efia Knedu, Yan Shiraba, Elder Deborah. God bless you. God bless you so much for tuning in tonight. Mama Vivian Abwajima, God bless you so much. God bless you, Fedna. God bless you. So my Reverend Emmanuel Jefferson, God bless you. Ohima Sewa, God bless you for watching. Priscilla Amawa, how are you, Priscilla? God bless you for watching tonight. Harriet Quay, wow, my sister, how are you and the family? Mama Georgina Nanel Du, God bless you for tuning in. Mr. Felix Minta, Mama Sarah Bonsu, God bless you. Dorothy S. Norwood, God bless you for tuning in. Raquel Subantin, Raquel, how are you doing? God bless you for tuning in. My sister Ophelia, God bless you. Mama, sister Linda Maria Anture, God bless you so much. Mama Fiajiman, God bless you so much for tuning in. Cecilia, how are you? How is Austin? God bless you so much. God bless my regards to the family. God bless you all. Solomon Bride, Apostle Solomon, God bless you for tuning in. God bless you all. God bless you. Such a such an, a great number tonight. Shaddai, Nanama Atta, Sister Benedicta, Miss Uso Adai, God bless you. Mr. Samuel Asari. God bless you all. Those that I couldn't mention your names, God bless you. I pray that the good Lord will favor you in whatever that you do. You are blessed and highly favored. Have a blessed night. See you same time next week. Mama Akusia Afra Papebi from Canada. Wow. God bless you. Akusia Santua. God bless you. Nanama Juan. God bless you for watching. Mama Agri. God bless you. I mean, the number keeps on coming and coming and coming. If I don't mention your name, forgive me. God have seen you and your life God will never be the same. All. God bless you all. Bye-bye.